What's up everybody? It's been a while. Um, so I'm just doing a quick video because I have been Instagramming all of my videos and doing daily stories on Instagram and sharing a lot of videos um, on my Instagram channel that are also being shared on my Facebook, but they won't automatically share to YouTube. So I'm really sorry that my YouTube channel is so dull and boring and doesn't have a lot going on right now, but I just wanted to get on here and uh, do a quick video because, um, yeah, there is a lot of confusion in this world um, from, yeah, a lot of confusion in Christianity, I should say, about Trump being our president. So I just want to address this huge and terrifying and horrible deception that so many Christians are under. And this is something that needs to be addressed because it's not being addressed um, at all. And the belief that that God <laughs> has appointed Trump to be uh, our president and that God is working through Trump to fix America is a lie from the devil. And if you don't believe that, I'm sorry, but it's the truth. And it's very simple to prove to yourself as a Christian. If you're a Christian who actually is not just a Christian, but who genuinely loves Jesus with all of your heart, who loves the gospel truth, who loves your father in heaven, who is filled with the Holy Spirit, come out of, come out of her, my people. Jesus said, come out of Babylon, my people. Jesus said, Babylon is what all government is under, the structure of the beast system, okay? And here, very simply, is how you as a believer can come out of Babylon, come out of the deception that God is appointing these people, specifically, and that God is working through these people to fix our country, specifically, and that is this, Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. Okay, so when Jesus says, my kingdom is not of this world, what Jesus is saying, sorry, I got to stop looking at myself on the screen and looking at the actual camera. I have not been very good at mastering this, but I'm practicing. But um, when Jesus says, come out of her, my people, okay, what he's doing is calling us out of the worldly systems out of the beast systems, okay, um, out of the antichrist systems, out of the false prophet systems, okay, everything is under Satan's system. The, Satan is the god of the earth. Let's think about that. If Satan in the Bible is defined as the god of the earth, that means all worldly and all earthly structures are Satan's, not, not God the Father in heavens. They are Satan's kingdoms. Here is another bit of proof that you can easily use to prove whether or not Jesus, you know, is telling you to stop believing this nonsense. Not only did Jesus say that my kingdom is not of this world, okay, my ways are not of this world, but also when Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit immediately after John the Baptist filled Jesus with the Holy Spirit, Okay, <laughs> when he baptized Jesus and the Holy Spirit was therefore filled into our Messiah, into our Savior, into the living Son of God, what happened immediately after that? Jesus went out into the desert for 40 days to pray and commune with his Father and to fast, to fully trust and to allow complete and full filling of God's Holy Spirit in Christ's physical body, okay? At the end of those 40 days, what happened, people? At the end of those 40 days, Satan himself came to Jesus to tempt him. The tempter came to Jesus to tempt him. One of the first things that Satan did in this process was tell Jesus he took him up on a high mountain and showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world. Okay, he showed him all the kingdoms of the world, people. And he said, if you bow unto me, bow down to me, Jesus, and I will give you control and power over all of these kingdoms. Why? Because if Jesus bowed to him, then what could, what could Satan do? He could make Jesus his right-hand man, which would make Jesus still, you know, 
a ruler over all the kingdoms of the world. But what that indicates is that Satan is the ruler of all the kingdoms of the world. So now that we've addressed that short little bit, I'm going to try and I'm going to try and cut this uh, video as short as possible. It's already at five minutes. I don't like making super long videos. I'm very bad at that. I make long videos because I I am I I'm a storyteller. I love to. Uh, I would make a great novel author, but I because I can tell good stories and describe things in great detail, and I know how to describe the same thing from multiple perspectives, which is why I sound a little bit repetitious at times, people. But if you can handle that and bear with me, I appreciate it. But so what this indicates, though, is that Satan is the ruler of all kingdoms of the world, okay, and that he can make anyone he wants to be a ruler over any kingdom of the world. So. God's not appointing presidents. God's not appointing these these things. And you can't find anywhere in Scripture that that is true. The only thing that you see in Scripture where God has any kind of interaction with government is that the Bible says that God gives the sword to the government to bring justice to evil people. Okay? <laughs> Literally, that is like that is God's only God allows the governments of the world to execute murderers. That's so that we don't have murderers running rampant and free all over the planet. That's like the only only aspect that God has any interaction with any kind of physical governments of this world. That's why Jesus said, Give to Caesar what is Caesar's. He doesn't care about money. He doesn't care about the things of this world. God has no desire to establish his kingdom on this earth through a political system. When Jesus is ready to sit on the throne of his kingdom, when he wants to bring his kingdom to earth, he's going to come down and wipe out everything that is political, everything that is under Satan's control. He's going to do away with it in one big swoop. Why? Because he's God. And his ways are not of this world. His kingdom is way, way more important. And it is a spiritual kingdom. And he has way, 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 way more control over his kingdom. And his kingdom can wipe out all the kingdoms of this world and just instantaneously replace them. He doesn't need presidents and congressmen and senators and, and, and you know, whatever all the other political offices are, guys. He doesn't need any of that. And he doesn't work through that. He clearly stated his kingdom is not of this world. His ways are higher than our ways. That Satan is the God of this world. That Satan runs the kingdoms of this world. That Satan can even offer God himself power over the kingdoms of this world if God submits to him. Jesus was God in the flesh, okay? So don't be deceived. Yes, there were prophecies, okay, that Trump would become president, Okay, those are not God's prophecies. Those of you who are Christians who believe that Satan cannot prophesy and foretell the future are deceived because Satan is strategizing a massive, massive strategy. He is bringing together a one world order, a one world religion and a one world government. How can that happen if he's not pulling the strings to unify people and to put people into places of power so that he can manipulate the masses into buying into his one world government and taking the mark of the beast. And why would God himself have prophesied that Satan would do all of these things and that a, a false prophet would come before the Antichrist and that the Antichrist would come and take power over these one world governments and currencies and religions? Why would God prophesy that all of those things happen if Satan wasn't planning this strategy from eons past to try and rob every... So Satan wants to dominate the whole world, people. He is going to dominate the whole world. So, of course, he can prophesy things because they are self-fulfilling prophecies. He's pulling the strings and the strategies to make these things happen. And God sees what Satan is doing. God is looking into Satan's heart just like he's looking into your heart. Okay, he's looking into your heart and he's looking into the devil's heart. So God knows what the devil is planning. And believe me, the devil has plans that are way, way out. The devil plays the long term game. He gives you little, 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 tiny, subtle differences. And he slowly, slowly advances his antichrist system to come into full prominence and full power in the end of days. This is just a fact, Christians. So get over Trump. He's not God's appointed anything. He is the devil's appointed leader for this particular time. That's it.